tensions are running high in Nigeria where voters are casting ballots in what could be the closest electoral contest since the end of military rule in 1999. The election pits incumbent President Goodluck Jonathan against former military ruler Muhammadu Buhari. In Lagos, delays in malfunctioning card readers led to a tedious registration process. But once anxious voters were able to cast their ballots, they felt relieved. As an individual, I feel that the, for, the, for once, our politicians will begin to take the voters and the electorate very, very seriously. Even Jonathan suffered a 40-minute delay when he went to vote. Due to the technical problems, the Independent Electoral Commission said it would extend voting in certain districts until Sunday. The commission reassures the voting public that it will thoroughly investigate what happened while it remains committed to the delivery of free, fair and credible elections in spite of these challenges. Violence is also threatening the election. Boko Haram insurgents and other gunmen killed at least 15 people, including an opposition politician in the country's northeast. But despite the violence and technical problems, some voters remain confident in the election. It's, it's going to be a successful election. This election, uh, in my own mind, in my own way of thinking, it will become a success. And we come out successful in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it. A credible and relatively calm poll would open a new chapter in the country's history.